Welcome to TradeTheMDA.com. This is John Lewis Reporters for the 26th. Well, we're continuing to get this back and forth. Um, you know, it's hilarious because I see these articles that say the markets are illiquid and randomly doing things. Well, we haven't found anything random about what's going on. It's been rather predictable. Uh, from the S&P standpoint, though, we know that we've had this uh, incredibly weak shakeout um, and that the support is literally coming from... Uh, you know, an artificial support system, but that doesn't make it illiquid or irrational. It just means that there's interference. And if you can't figure that out, then you've just been asleep for many, many years or just haven't been paying attention to anything I've said. Uh, that being said, it's just a matter of uh, following what we see. Um, so while we're getting these soft setups, that you still have a very decent DOC Red, which means long-term uh, buyer support, still holding on to uh, pretty good levels. I mean, it's not like we're getting a cascade lower or anything like that. We had the you know big reset right back here at the middle of the month, and from there we pretty much just traded across. And again, Nasdaq outperforming the uh, S and P, as you can dramatically see uh, the artificial pump within the euro because the euro is actually uh, zone at least is more open than uh, some parts of the US. Of course, that's misleading too, because um, I was looking at this one, uh, it's a zero hedge article. Um, difference between blue states and red states. We saw this difference. Uh, you had so many red states that did not close. Um, and then the ones that had uh, democratic governors, uh, big difference. And you're starting to see the effects of that. Um, because again, this idea that the relationship between number of cases uh, spiking in that somehow is a horrible thing is uh, just bad logic. Uh, at the end of the day, it really comes down to how many hospitalizations you're getting. Um, there were some areas that were reporting that they were reaching, you know, uh, significant numbers in their hospitals. Uh, but again, you know, limited protocols that they're using as well. So that's another interesting factor. Why it is? Uh, well, that'll be something for the history books down the road uh, as to why, you know, they've avoided the certain techniques and that to uh, assist, but we don't have to get down into that. We just have to follow what the markets are doing. And again, uh, from an oil standpoint, uh, we're just holding right at this uh, breakout level. They're just looking for some consistency to uh, growth. And of course, with the spiking cases and some slowdown and uh, reopening ideas and that, I think that's uh, put that breakout on hold. We were poised to do it and then we had that uh, increase. And this all came after the spike in um, protest in that, uh, which then led to a subsequent increase in the number of cases being reported uh, from a gold standpoint, uh, a little bit more wild range, but nonetheless, we're still going to be breaking out through the highs in gold, there's no question about that. So from an intraday, I mean, this is where they're talking about, they think it's crazy, but it's like, no, we've had these levels laid out, the 3013, that then goes up to the 3050, and you look for your supports and resistances at those key zones. And of course, you know, new ones are being made and you're more than welcome to mark those on the in-between. Um, I usually like to see a series of uh, red positive extremes. We do one right here. You know, it's kind of in the middle range around, you know, 20, I mean, 30, 30 range. Um, but I usually look for predominance of them where you've begun a, a significant run. But you can see as we get towards the peak, we get our breakdown signal. Um, Sometimes you get a little bit of an attempt to try and turn it around. Uh, this should have produced a little bit more up, and it did. It came back to the ABM, but it wasn't able to hold it pretty quick. And then you had the you know, steels cross back below it, and that created the dump. But it, it really came right back to the exact same spot, um, and then worked back down before coming right back up to the same. So you're going to get that kind of uh, gyration. We're seeing uh, some pretty significant... Uh, uh, volume days. I mean, I don't have any complaint about the number of bars being created. I mean, these are pretty substantial, uh, especially for what some people would consider summer months. So again, hitting that same 3050 zone. And then, like I said, we just look for it to reach a certain point. And then in this case, look at how powerful that shakeout was as we broke out to that new peak and went right back to uh, 3075 and then right back to 3050. So again, this is beautiful stuff. Uh, you just have to be willing to recognize that these things exist 
and and follow along with it. It's, it's not like we've guessed at any of this. Uh, we've talked about it, and it's been spelled out. It's just a matter of uh, you know, paying attention, and that's literally what it comes down to. Are you paying attention? And if you are, um, none of this is complicated. So, with that, um, we're just going to continue to keep moving. And I would think they're still going to try and play it towards moving higher. Actually, this is very, I consider this kind of weak being down at 3,000. We should be further along. Um, but again, you're getting some of that uh, delay because things are still not improving significantly enough. Uh, most of the value of this, and they're all talking about, um, in fact, that was the latest article. i got to pop it up right here. Uh, the biggest disconnect between prices and profits in history. Well, no, this is a profound, massive influx of cash or capital into the markets artificially by a government, and that is going to lead to a devaluation. And so the market is pricing that in. It always does. This isn't new. Uh, you just have to recognize it. And so, you know, people who are looking at what they thought the fundamentals were, well, you know, this, this gets into another failure of logic. Um, the idea that it's just what companies earn and their potential earnings are what dictate market multiple. No, also the value of what the currency is going to be and whether or not uh, that's taking a hit. And market players are certainly not going to take a discount uh, as to their asset holdings. And so the value of everything skyrockets uh, accordingly seems kind of simple, but I guess it's uh, complicated for a lot of people to grasp. And that's okay, because they don't see the markets in the same way uh, that I've always looked at them. Um, since doing the algorithm work in that, you can you can see how these uh, setups are created. But that's neither here nor there. We've got the information that we need to be successful at it. And that's all we have to worry about and just continue to uh, do what we're doing. As always, though, if there's anything unique or special, I will put it up. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.